Okay, so just another quick little video on how you fill in um, the piece. Um, you'll notice that right here, I moved the probes. You know, we've got a nice full piece going here. I moved the probes down here because I wanted to fill that in. By the way, it's completely unplugged right now, so I'm safe. Um, but I want to leave the probes on so you can see. Uh, so you can see they connected. Once they connect, you're just going to see a solid red line going all the way across. Um, at that point, nothing else is going to happen. There'll be no more branching. They've connected. They've done what they want to do, and we'll just it'll just stay like that, and we'll just keep on burning. So at this point, we need to move them, and we got a whole area up here that's uh, not filled in. So let's uh, go ahead and put this probe right up there, and then we'll put this probe right. Uh, let's put it over here. Um, yeah, there we go. We gotta, hold on, let me just manipulate this a little bit more. Again, there's no power to this unit at all right now. Now you'll notice that some of that's dry up there, so I kind of need to connect it, so I'm just going to take my little spritz bottle. There we go. That's good. Alright, let's see if it'll work right away. Um, sometimes it needs to take a second. Let me try to do this again while I plug it in. Alright, it's plugged in. And you can see it starts ticking off again. It's going to take a minute for it to really get going because it's got a lot of dampness on it. And there we go. Slowly but surely. So that's how we get full coverage. And you know, that's where you get a little bit of creative license. Uh, you can be a little bit artistic and move things, manipulate um, the way you spritz and where you spritz. That's where the electricity is going to follow. So you can be a little bit creative with that. Um, you can move things around. You can have the detail be as dense or as, uh, or as sparse as you want. Um, so yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, I didn't mention in the other video, but please take extreme caution when doing this. This is very dangerous. Uh, it's not to be messed with. Don't run out and buy yourself a transformer and say, I can do it, I saw a video. No, I looked at, I researched this for months. Uh, it was probably three or four months before I finally decided I was going to give it a go. And even then, um, did a lot of research on safety, understood electricity a lot better. Just note that uh, you're going to see a lot of videos online that talk about microwave transformers because of cheap. You can just grab an old microwave that you can get at a restore, sitting in your basement, whatever. You can pull that out. Just pulling it out could be dangerous because the capacitor inside there stores a lot of energy and that could zap you. Um, and w when you use the microwave transformer, that thing, it, while it only has 2,000 volts, it, has a, it pumps out about 500 milliamps. And that's deadly. That'll kill you in a second. So this one, the neon bulb transformer, while it is 12,000 volts compared to the 2,000 volts, it only has 35 milliamps. And while that could, you know, give you a nice jolt, uh, it, it would, you'd have to be connected to it and have, you know, both hands touching probes before you could, you know, be for it to be, you know, really deadly. I mean, it's still, it's not safe, but much safer than a microwave. So. Please be very cautious if you go the microwave route. Anyhow, just wanted to show you uh, uh, how it all works and how you can get a little bit artistic with it. Now, eventually, I'm going to start doing it to where I use the uh, put small gouges in there and where I can do words. Um, you can do words if you do gouges, and then you are very uh, you have put little tiny little finishing nails, let no more than two inches apart, fill just a tiny little uh, gouge with uh, some of the solution. Uh, you can do actual words. It doesn't look pretty, but it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, anyway, signing off.